between homes and businesses. There's about 150 that are still under evacuation orders. And like you said, there's no telling when they can go back. Last month, a natural gas leak prompted the evacuation. Even though that's been fixed, the number of people who've been evacuated has nearly doubled as Atmos Energy continues to remove the gas, which leaked into the soil. Right now, state emergency managers are not actively involved in this crisis because no formal emergency declaration has been made from Williamson County. State Senator Charles Schwartner says he's been paying close attention and plans to find out who's responsible and hold them accountable. The energy company is regulated by the Texas Railroad Commission, who says the investigation is ongoing. They say they're monitoring the situation to make sure Atmos is complying with agency rules. They're working as hard as they can uh, to solve the problem, but I would remind you that they were the ones who created the problem. I think it's appropriate to bring in an expert uh, to help us figure out how to get these businesses back up on their feet. The city of Georgetown tells us they're having internal talks about what to do as well. In the meantime, the energy company has been paying for those affected to stay at a hotel. Reporting in Georgetown, Jacqueline Sarkisian, Fox 7 Austin News.